Hi, I'm Christine Cushing and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today it's another video in the installments of tips and tricks, techniques, how to make the perfect steak every time. It's going to be super dark and crimson on the outside, juicy, tender, perfectly cooked inside with a simple mushroom red wine pan sauce. Let's go. In preparation, I'm turning on my oven, 375 Fahrenheit, roughly 175 Celsius. Step one is to turn my dry cast iron pan on. Kind of a moderate heat while I prepare my steak. You'll notice this is something that I do. The pan is dry and I'm gonna explain why. So to make the perfect steak, the first thing you wanna do is always bring it out of the fridge roughly 30 minutes before, I would say no longer than a half hour for this kind of inch and a half thick, maybe three centimeters or so. The reason for that is the inside of this steak is stone cold right now. So if I try to get the perfect cooking, it's gonna really mess up because that middle of that steak is gonna be cold, so my reading is gonna be off. You always wanna bring it to almost room temperature. Some oil on both sides. And that oil on both sides of this meat, that's what's going to really be the oil as opposed to going in the pan. This way you reduce the amount of smoke that you're gonna generate in the house. Because let's face it, we're not in a restaurant here, right? We don't wanna smoke up the whole, whole house. Kosher is the way to go from high up. You know, we don't wanna create a salt lick here, contrary to a lot of male chefs' popular belief. Yes, you wanna salt it thoroughly, but I don't wanna just taste salt. Cracked black pepper, copious amounts. Swirl it around. Another side, same thing. Salt from up high. And then you gotta say it that way, from up high. I don't know why. <laughs> Little cracked black pepper. Look, I'm already having so much fun and I haven't even started cooking the meat. I'm just salting it and it's so exciting. All right, what am I gonna flavor this or what am I gonna aromaticize it with? Aromaticize, is that a word? I just made it a word. Aromatics. I'm going in with fresh thyme. I love thyme on a steak. You can also go with rosemary, but thyme is a little bit more, I would say, delicate and just chop all this beautiful thyme. I'm also saving a whole sprig of rosemary that's gonna go into the pan separate from that hole, just to introduce a little bit of that. Now, the thyme, is coming on both sides of the meat as well, on top. I can see my pan is getting super hot now. So imminently, there will be sizzlage. And sizzle is what you wanna hear. Ready? Putting it into the pan, away from me, so I get some nice sizzle. It's gonna be towards you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So here, what I wanna do is sear it, and by the way, don't move it at this point. Just sear it. Three minutes aside before it goes into the oven. So after two minutes, and really it's going to depend, but for my pan, this particular day, this size of meat, you do a little check, but this is looking super nice, caramelized on the outside. Now I wanna repeat on the second side. Now you see all these pan drippings and that oil, which is really at this point the beef fat because I hardly put any oil in. What I do is add some mushrooms right now so they start to cook and reduce the temperature in the pan. Little cremini, perfectly fine.
the main two guests you want to invite to any dinner party, and they're going to be here, are Umami and Maillard. They are my two special guests, and I'm going to introduce them as we go. So now I can smell also, look at that amazing texture on that steak. I want to make sure that I don't do it any more on the second side. That's perfect. So that's two to three minutes aside, depending on your pan. The last thing I do is just stand it up because I've got this beautiful fat cap and I want to render that down. Because remember, there's no barbecue in sight here, right? This is not a grilling situation. But this is getting that steak close to how it would be if you did it on a barbecue. So it's going to be perfection. Just about a minute on this side, not more than that. Two minutes aside, plus a minute on the fat cap. Now what I do is take that single sprig of rosemary. It's going to go in whole. And guess what? A little bit of garlic. Well, as in one clove going in. Now, my preheated oven is ready. I'm just going to season those mushrooms with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And this is going to go in the oven. But here's the trick. You want to master this, right? A thermometer is the best way for a novice or even people who know what they're doing to get the exact temperature of the meat right. So the key is to insert the thermometer right in the center of the meat. And what I'm doing is going parallel to the actual pan. So this is going to give me the temperature of the very middle, the coldest part of the meat. So I want to set that to 120 degrees, this is a Fahrenheit setting, internal temperature. As I let it rest after, it's going to continue to cook to about 125, which is medium rare. Again, this is going to take, could be four minutes, could be seven minutes. You really want to keep your eye on it, okay? So that's going into the oven or in the five-ish, seven-ish minute zone. So we have hit the magic 120 at the very, very center. That's the coldest part of the meat. Now I want to let it rest for about five minutes, which gives us a chance to start just picking up those pan juices and making a simple sauce. Look at that. Oh, baby. So remember I said the two most important guests are umami and Maillard. Umami the mushrooms, all of these meat drippings, all of these amazing flavors in here. And then Maillard, all of this caramelization of the meat, that gives you that flavor, that gives you that aroma right away of caramelized meat, of roasted meat. That's what gives the steak that incredible flavor. So it doesn't just taste like, you know, you steamed some meat. So really here, when you've got one of these two things, umami or Maillard, you have flavor. When they come together, it's like to the max. So right now, the mushrooms, the meat drippings, and that butter is taking it to whole new places, like extraterrestrial, interplanetary, phenomenal. Now, with that beautiful heat we have, all I'm gonna do is deglaze with just a splash of red wine a couple of ounces, not more than that. So now my nose is telling me, I can smell that alcohol has evaporated, and then really a little bit of butter in that pan and the meat juices is just gonna create 
an extraordinary sauce. You can smell it and taste it already. Who's ready for some steak? Umami and Maillard are. <laughs> it looks so good, it smells ridiculously good. Perfection, look at that. I mean, it cannot get any better than that. Cannot. And I don't want to cut it super thin. Look at that. Right on the money. This strip loin is roughly 12 ounces, so about 360 grams. For me, this is sharing for two. I know. We really should not be eating more than six, seven ounces meat tops. So this is two sharing this steak perfection. How about a little mushroom? Are you ready for that? Okay, I wanna organize it. Oh, it looks so good. The smell, ridiculous. wants to taste. I think I do. You can't even imagine how incredible that is. This is what I want you to master, that. Okay, I'm gonna dip some of those juices. Give myself a little mushroom. Steak is off the chart. All of those flavors are just perfectly melded and the simplicity of it, and really when I talk about umami and <laughs> Maillard, they are really making this incredible symphony. It's so rich, it's so full, but not overbearing and overpowering. What I'm really looking forward to is all those Macho comments, all the guys throwing stuff at me. Come on, bring it. This is the way you cook a steak in a pan. There's a difference between incinerating and browning. This is browning, not incinerating, all right? It's a phenomenal steak. I hope you try it. I know you're gonna love it. I've set the table. Are you coming to share this with me? It's more than enough for two. See you next time on another helping of my favorite foods. Thank you for hanging with me in the kitchen. Share, like, subscribe. Tell me what's happening in your world. See you next time.